in the next few tabs is uh, pretty simple in the explanation. Let's click the All tab. Now you could, um, like I said, export those modules into uh, all these different types of uh, unit frames and um, functions that uh, you could use with it. Now if you don't want it to uh, adjust your pet frame or your target frame because of another mod you see, just uncheck it here and reload UI and it'll take, uh, it'll unload those parts of the uh, module. Alright, um, other here, um, it'll also do these global settings like if you want to enable all ports you could do it all at the same time. Okay, that way you don't have to do them one at a time. Uh, so it's basically like a global quick setting here. Okay, and then you could adjust to make it uh, turn into healer mode. So that shows the uh, health bars and mana bars in a different way. Okay, let's go to colors. Colors allows you to set your frame appearance and stuff like that. For example, let's go ahead and uh, move this up here. Okay, and then you could adjust the border color and you can make it red or whatever. Okay, and um, let's see there. You can change the background color to, you know, blue. Okay, and then you have all these options here. Well, that didn't work. Clansel by mistake, I guess. Nah, it wouldn't let me change it. Might be another bug, who knows. So, uh, basically, you could go ahead and change all the appearances here. Okay. Um, the transparency for the, all the frames, the text transparency within the frame, as well as the bar colors. Okay, you change the health bars, the energy colors, rage colors. It's all in there. It's all in these unit frames in x -Pearl. Okay. And uh, you can change the gradient and stuff to make it uh, look gradient like this, like a little bubble bar. Okay, now if you go to Helper, basically what Helper is, is um, it uh, has a tanking helper uh, window here which just popped up. Let me go ahead and move these guys out of uh, party mode here. Just put them into a different group. That will sh pop them up over here in the raid meters here. Um, let's go ahead and close this really quick so they can see it. Here's the uh, helper here and basically what it is is um, when uh, your raid leader can set uh, multiple tanks, you know, define who's the tanks and they will show up here. That way you'll get a uh, perfect view of just the tanks. Okay, and right now Herogen set as a tank. Let's set Keska as a tank. So yeah, just come over here, set, set main tank 2 because Herogen's 1, and then she appears on this here. So you can see the tank's health, and then you can see what the tank's targeting. And you have other options here. You could uh, turn that off so you can only just see the tank so you don't see what they're targeting. Okay, uh, I like to see what they're targeting. Or you could just just show what the tanks are targeting and not show the tanks at all. So you have all these options you can play with. Let's go over to Monitor. Monitor basically is uh, a new thing that they're working on right now. It's part of XPro, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really use it yet, uh, but I really should. Let's enable it here. Basically what the... Uh, let's go ahead and enable it, put it up here. Basically what the uh, monitor is, is a casting monitor. shows um, all the people in the raid who can cast, and it shows their mana as well as uh, what they're casting and uh, what they're targeting and stuff. So um, it's a really good helpful tool to basically, I guess, for healers to see if, you know, if they're uh, targeting the same person someone else is healing. It also gives you some stats about uh, how they heal and stuff. So the raid monitor is a really cool uh, diagnostic tool as well as uh, giving you pra updated information of who's uh, casting on what, what and what their mana is at currently. Good for raid leaders, basically, um, and uh, other really cool usages. So let's turn this off here. Actually, let's move it first so I don't get surprised. Now, the next tab is the admin tab. Now, you don't have to worry about this. This is only really for raid leaders. Okay, so um, if you are a raid leader and using Xperl, check this out. Uh, let's go ahead and toggle it, open it up. A raid admin. Now, in Naxxramas, when we do uh, Naxxramas, um, there are some bosses why we have to adjust certain groups and uh, kind of split them up and tell them to go right or left of the room or uh, for like something like Gothic, go to the dead or the live side. Um, so basically, what it is is uh, you can save uh, the layout of the group. Okay, for example, if I have this turned on while, while we're raiding, um, I could set up these groups ahead of time if I know everyone's going to stay in the raid for the whole time. But uh, let's go ahead and save this setup right now, group one and two. Okay, and we'll call this. Um, say I'm doing it for Gothic. Okay, and let's save it. So it saves it as gothic down here, okay? Now, I'm going to go back and move it, move the raid to where 
it was originally supposed to be set, you know. Uh, Scarlet uh, go to group five. Jessica go to group three. All right, now you know we're raiding. This is the regular raid uh, setup. Okay, now we get to Gothic. Now the great thing about this is, okay, I'm at the Gothic. Let's go ahead and load it up. Okay, everyone, group one go to undead side. Everyone, group two go to life side. Everyone's all set up now. So it's a predefined um, uh, lineup that you can uh, make in, uh, for different groups and stuff, and uh, send them on their way when you get to that boss. And one last thing that uh, I haven't went through and it barely shows here, but you see the little pets here. This shows the raid pets, okay? And you could t actually turn that off if you don't care about the raid pets or about seeing them. Uh, tanks and stuff, I uh, really don't care about that. Sometimes healer might uh, turn it on just so they could heal the pets, but you basically just uncheck this and check this here. Wow, and that was it. That was uh, We went through everything that I know of in Next Pearl. And uh, remember, when you're messing with the UI, make your profile saves and uh, loads. And that way, uh, you don't have to always start over. Like I said, huge, huge mod here. Lots of customization. Very powerful. I don't play with Pitbull. I don't play with Heobot. Uh, I've got married to this a long time ago, to X-Pearl. It's just so awesome, so customizable. And uh, this is one reason why I need to make this tutorial, especially for my guildies. Because they just don't understand. I mean... You, you go into this mod and it just has so much crap to it and people just don't want to you know that might not have the time or just don't understand how to use this mod and understand how powerful it really is um, like I said awesome mod and I hope these tutorials and this review here uh, really helped you understand Expro because I can't stress enough how powerful this uh, mod is and uh, how easy it will make your life um, so that's about it. Uh, thank you for joining me on this uh, really long mod uh, review and tutorial. Uh, remember, subscribe to me. I'm going to be making a lot more uh, helpful videos on mods and other things. And uh, tell your friends about me. And uh, that's about it. And I'll see you on the flip side.